Hi, Parvin. Hi. Your name is Parvin Ardala. Yes. And you're what we call in Sweden fristadsförfattare. Yeah, for fristadsförfattare, because I finished. You finished? The period of being fristadsförfattare. Yeah, but you were a fristadsförfattare before, yes. and you were Malmö's first. Yeah, I yeah. was the first Malmö fristadsförfattare. Yeah. And uh, after that, I applied for permanent residency, and now I'm a... I've received permanent residency. Yeah, and you yeah. come originally from Iran? Yeah. Yes. And now you're employed by Malmö Museer? Uh, it's not like I'm employed. No. It's a project that I'm working with the Malmö Museum and Malmö Stad and different. Oh, should I say that? Yeah, um, it was a project that we uh, suggested to Malmö Museum from Feminist Dialogue, a group that I'm working with, and yeah. a network. There is a network, sorry. <laughs> yeah. There is a network uh, that is called Feminist Dialogue, and then we started a uh, few years ago when I received my permanent residency. And then we suggested the project to Malmö Museum, and uh, and after that they accepted and I work with the Malmö Museum on this project. So the project is about uh, feminist uh, questions or what? Yes, it's about the name was the um, 100 Kvinnor arbete and live in Malmö. Yeah. And uh, the most important question was about the invisibility of the women uh, immigrants' history yeah. in so Malmö, in Sweden. So yeah. your work is to vi- to find the women in Malmö today. Yeah, and just to questioning this invisibility yeah. and uh, visualize this yeah. kind of history. Yeah. Of course, yeah. And so kvinnorna har varit osynliga i Malmö och du ska synliggöra dem. Yeah, we hope. <laughs> not, That's not nice. just only me, but together with uh, in different institutions, different civil societies and other women. And how come you are specially qualified for this work, do you think? Oh. <laughs> I ask you because we speak a lot about representation and yes. you are a person in your body, yeah. you represent something that is different. So yeah. why do you think that it was important that you are the person that is representing this project? I have. I was lucky that yeah. I could uh, introduce this uh, to ask or apply for this kind of working mm-hmm. on the project. And then it was a question that it's kind of, as an activist and journalist, I was thinking that you know, why in a country that is more as well known as a multicultural uh, country and also Malmo is a multicultural city. So why uh, the uh, the role of the especially women works in uh, in the history is invisible. And uh, so um, I was thinking that is a good, uh, good, I have a good relation with this project because I'm now, after I went to my country, I haven't had this, uh, I didn't have this feeling that I'm an immigrant. But then when I was in Sweden, I was thinking now as an immigrant, I can uh, question this uh, and to know that, to highlight the role of immigrant women. And uh, Malmö was a good place, which is more multicultural. And then is the, the another important thing was that it's uh, different nationalities that are working, and uh, and Malmö is open to yeah. develop this uh, this multicultural ideas in a different levels. So I try to use my experience that I have in a grassroots movement in Iran to connect with the. Uh, this question and this activities, cultural activities in in Malmo. Yeah. So then I tried to make this, to connect this project to a movement. I was, it so was the my qu- dream, and then I think that it was very important things. Yeah. Did I answer to your question? Absolutely. <laughs> so I think if you would want to help another museum that wants to work with these kind of questions about mm. opening up making yes. more voices visible or showing other stories, what would you recommend the museums to do? I, I recommend that museums should open the doors to H- the civil how? society. How can they do it? Do you have uh, any... Ex- yeah, I think that institutionalized uh, working is, is somehow is good because then you make you more professional. But it, another thing is not good because they keep you in a framework and then it doesn't let you go outside and go to see the other things. So I think the most important things is that they make a good connection and more dynamic connection by the, before, with the museum and with the, with the civil society. Mm-hmm. And the... Then they it would be it works, mm. and then also to change some kind of uh, to look at the context also, 
the context of, for example, Ali migrant women is different with the context that you are working for, 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 for example, children, or you're working on some kind of activities else. Mm. But in some frameworks that I, I'm going to discuss also about that, the, they, uh, you just try to put every project and every people, every, every things that you wanted to work on that one. Mm. And then you won't want to open the door and to use mm. it in the other way. And I think that one of the obstacles uh, uh, in the front of the museums is like that. They uh, make, they should make a more connection with the civil society. And then they think that uh, they need more getting from outside yes. to, to uh, grow in inside. Okay. But it doesn't mean that we, most of the time, they will see that in every project they want to do something. They want to make some project, but there is no t no idea of including. And I think that the one of the important is, is you should change the method that you have already had and is, is difficult. So you think one method we could learn from is the Iranian grassroots movement method? In, in this part, I, because I was working with women grassroots movement to mobilize and then to, to raise the question. So then it was the question for us was uh, why the Im uh, invisibility and how we can make visualize in, in this way mm. women immigrants uh, live and work here. So in this form, I try to use that experience. Maybe in another form, yes, yeah, we have to learn from each other. Sometimes we need to, to learn the, that it does not that I'm, I'm coming from a country that is uh, not a democratic country, but I came to the context that a well known as a democracy, democratic form. But there are some things that we have done in our country with the grassroots movements and everything that they can achieve here, that they can use it here, or we can learn from each other. So I think this is the one of the way. And then we should use the lot of uh, capacity that's coming from outside to this country and then we learn from them too. Yes, we you want to help us, but I think that there are a lot of things that we can help with each other. Thank you, Parvin. I think that's a nice Thank ending. You. And good luck today. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>